Hello, my name is Mingers and welcome to Unfiltered, Conversations with Creators. This is a podcast where we speak to content creators of all sizes about the journey of how they began, how they got to where they are now, and where they want to go to in the future. The aim is to create a fun and engaging resource that we can all learn from, as well as give us something to look back on in the future. Episode 2 features Dee Industries, also known as Daryl, a straight-talking small streamer from Australia. Dee has experience in social media management, as well as a wealth of knowledge from the fitness industry. All of these socials will be displayed on the screen and linked in the description. His content is mainly Warzone focused, but you can also find workout streams. Go check him out and drop him a follow. He's one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. If you enjoy the podcast and this type of content, please drop a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you loved hearing about the most. We have plenty more of these to release in the coming weeks and you do not want to miss some of these conversations. So without taking up too much of your time, let's get started. All right, Mr. D Industries, Daryl, the Australian goat. What's All up, right. baby? I have I'm one quest, one one question to ask you to start off this thing. Yep, the ramp is meta. Ah, uh, you failed already. Ah, uh, damn. No, I was gonna, nah, I was gonna ask you how you like your steak. Oh, how I like my steak? Yeah. Right, here, here, here's here's the wild one for it. It depends on what the cut is. Okay. okay. Usually, generally, I just go medium rare, like rare, medium rare. Yep. But depending if it's a, let's say it's a, if it's a wagyu, like a high grade wagyu, I'd slightly cook it just a little bit longer, just because the insides need to get cooked a bit more, just because of all the extra fat around the actual meat. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, generally, yeah. I would go a medium rare to a rare. Good. I can, yeah, I can agree with that. We're friends. I, I like that. Oh yeah. We can yeah, be friends my now. Man. Yeah, yeah. I'll take I'll take you to Stearson's next time we come to Sydney. Yeah, that sounds gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will come to Sydney again though. It was it's funny yeah. how we um we met through gaming, but we finally got to meet up in Sydney um yeah, a couple yeah. months ago. Yeah, took, took, hey man, took took a long time. It took ages. <laughs> yeah, but I yeah. think I think you're the first person I ever met through gaming. Yeah, like yes, like I'll take it. Yeah, like officially met up with. Yeah, but I, I like that. Yeah, we we've yeah. Um, made a lot of online friends the last couple of years, I think. Oh, 100%. Like, there's actually the people I'm excited to meet. Like, Kylie and I just, I've been planning about LA and, um, LA and Texas. And um, and I'm, like, super excited. I'm, like, I'm actually planning my three days in Texas. It's, like, it's literally, this is how I'm planning it in my head. Yeah. We land. So, we land one day. Um, rest, recover. Depending how we feel, I'll probably hit up Slim straight away. I don't know if Z would come out. Ooh, yeah. Th- that, that, that's a big ask. Um, to prevent... This is how I've actually thought about the meetup in Texas. Um, to prevent Z chalking his schedule, I'll call him out for like a daytime thing, like a lunchtime thing. So it's very informal. And he still gets to do his um, streaming his stuff. After. Start at 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah, at least. <laughs> at least. And then um, on that... That second night, I'll yeah potentially call out Slim again or whoever whoever's in Texas, Beach, Oblique, Miss Kitty, Bab, whoever. Yeah, there's quite a few. There there is a quite a few in, in Texas. Um, and then on the third day, I'll fly out to LA. Nice. So, that it, it's it's all still up in the air. It's it's you know, um, you in the mercy it's... of. Yeah, playing it by ear. It's all the mercy of like what's happening around the world and stuff. So like with the whole COVID, if. if if everything's being shut down again, if everything's being mm. opened up, like my dad just flew out the other day to the Philippines to visit his um visit family just down to the Philippines. Yeah. I couldn't go because work um yeah. what do you call it work commitments. Uh, mom says she might be flying sometime in May potentially, and goes on from there. W. So you haven't booked yeah. any flights yet? No, 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 no. Um, Ted and I are talking about that around August. Because um, around then, it's sort of like my heaviest um, payout with a lot of things. Like, I, I'm paying off a lot of things around August, so car registration and all that. So, oh, yeah. That's yeah. the worst. Yeah, dude. Like, especially with the car I drive. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, it's pretty much rego, service, insurance, uh, um, a couple of other bills in there around August, which completely chalks me for like a good month and a bit. So, that's why I'm booking things after august so i know how much i can actually set aside how much i get to play with while i'm overseas and stuff mm. yeah i love i love your you're a planner i love how you're very um oh, you're always nah. on time and you love you love planning stuff 
I'm fi- it physically hurts me to be late, to be <laughs> honest with you. Like, um, I, I, it's not really scratching myself, but I scratch the tips of my thumbs when I'm slightly like, stressed when I'm waiting. Like nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know, she's kind of like, I do this. Yeah. Like, I just, like, dig on the top of um my thumbs. And I've gone to the point when I was actually five minutes late and the tips of my thumbs were, like, super red and a bit of skin oh, was actually... Really? Yeah, a bit off because I it physically like despite what I'm doing, it actually hurts me to be late. So, um, I'm never I minimize the amount of times I'm late. And plus, for me, it's a it's a inter interpersonal thing in a sense that if I'm late, that means I'm not respecting your time. Yeah, you want to be respectful. I get that. Yeah, that's that's one of the biggest thing for me is especially if I'm if I'm organized something like right now. Like I was in the middle of a game and then I literally got off to. Uh, get in the call with you. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Nah, man. Fuck the game, though. <laughs> um, yeah, that game. Did you did you find that um, that's crossed over into like when you are streaming and stuff? Like you don't want to be late or like when you have a time to no, get 100%, off? hundred percent. You, you want to get off? Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Like there are certain days where I've literally chalked the stream just because I was late ten minutes. Mm. And I hate being late. I hate setting time for people to say um, I'm going to be on at eight a.m. and then I don't show up. Yep. Like, I'd rather say, hey, guys, something came up. I won't be able to stream till later this afternoon and then just shift everything around. Do whatever I was going to do after streaming, shift it forward. So everybody, including myself and everybody who's tuning into the stream, know that, all right, he's shifted everything, but at 3 p.m., he'll be online. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a, it's a courtesy being thing. Late. Yeah, courtesy thing as well. Yeah. Like it, it chalks it in a way, but at the same time, it kind of just eases my mind that okay, I'm late. I could fix it up. I could do other things around the house. I could just shift everything around. And obviously, with everything within my control, that it's um, that's how I kind of set up my 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 streaming schedule in a sense. Facts. Did you have so like, like did, did you have a schedule when you started? You uh, just got no. on whenever. I just got on whenever. Yeah. Because um, well, usually the schedule was pretty much every day around like 9 a.m. just because we were on lockdown. I couldn't go to work. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. I couldn't go to the gym. So it's like literally 9 a.m. every day Yep. for however, for like almost five days a week. I take one or two days off just because this game actually does do you mentally damage, do a lot of mental damage. It does, like, it does. Like, I think it was, I don't remember what season it was. It was still Cold War. It wasn't when uh, Caldera was in, um, vanguard was introduced that i think it was myself and tron who literally grinded every day playing um just rebirth yeah and then i got you guys then i got you guys into this and i think shout out um ronan as well for this one he actually introduced me long ago this was long long ago it was like season when actually brought rebirth like as an introduction Mm. um map he was like, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You respawn and all that stuff. Like, obviously, I didn't know how to play, like, properly yeah. or the mechanics of Rebirth. It was myself, Ronan, Jurassic, and another homie, I think, that was running with us when we always land construction. Yeah. Construction site or whatever it was called during the time, which is now Control Center, which is now my house. So Yeah, I remember that. I remember yeah. I remember landing there a few, like, not even landing there, just running into that place specifically yeah. and thinking, this area is trash, like... It's like a half built <laughs> building. This is crap. Yeah. And like mm. the map was ugly, but I think when they made the map like the, the like slightly bluer tinge, mm. it's when I really mm. started to play it all the time. Yeah. No, I agree. Just yeah. because like the color for me plays a big deal. Definitely. Um like it it you're you're either gonna have to change settings within your computer to set to set the game or the game fixes itself, which you yeah. know, you, you can't rely on Activision to do anything right. So you pretty much have to do it everything yourself. Facts. Like today, literally I had, um, I was playing solos, top 10, I think. And I had eight kills on me. The guy that killed me was sitting in a bush in a corner. <laughs> and I, I literally ran past him and I had high alert on Oh, him. wow. He literally just blended into the, uh, I wouldn't say even bush, it's like underneath the cliff. So yeah, that's rough. bush, yeah. Right. And literally the only thing that that I knew that he was there was my high alert going off. Because mm. I literally ran past him. I was like, oh, fuck, well, GG's. Yeah, it's definitely clutch. GG's only. GG's. Now, although, although, the class on, only class I'm running at the moment is my STG. Mm. Um, SMG, STG. So the way Zach's, Zach has built it Ooh. with uh, Diamati. 
high alert tracker and eod interesting yeah nice it's literally hunt yeah give it a try it's like it's just hunt or be hunted kind of bs nice um yeah there's a few clips that i wish i took um took today in one of my games like i was fighting three guys at the same time it was, mm. it's hilarious i wish i saved it i didn't because I'm an idiot like that, but whatever. I think you were one of the first people who told me about doing like a flashback recording on your GPU. Yeah. To save yeah. clips rather than downloading them. Yep. Rather than downloading them on your VODs. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely, um, it's preserves the quality of the recording as well. So whatever you're playing with, um, as in like your native screen or whatever. 100% yeah whatever 100 level 100 on the um rendering quality it is you, you've got it actually saves it as that but yeah. at the same time it also re records your microphone as well so, yeah yeah 100%. that's uh, that's uh, that's super helpful there yeah because twitch vods you download a clip off that and it just looks just yeah it looks ass it says it's 1080 but it's it's not there's no, 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 no. way twitch vods are horrible yeah. i'll be honest with you twitch vods are horrible that's why i'm, I'm trying well i'm saving up for second laptop so i could stream off that get a decent capture card like the elgato hc60 plus or something or other like that yep yeah yeah get one of those and then just have a laptop like a high performance laptop rather than in another pc so yeah. i'll just keep upgrading this one and then whatever parts i upgrade did upgrade with is i'll just build tato a new pc or whatever whatever <laughs> she wants to do with it that's nice of you yeah. but in terms of your sorry this is you first told me about the clip recording thing. I remember that, and that was a long time ago. I'm pretty sure it was around like when you started. That was yep, COVID 2020 ish. Yep, 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 yep. yep Do you remember yep. when you started? Yeah. Uh, hang on. I actually pinned the, the the first my affiliate stream, I guess. But I only started streaming like a week, a week or two before that. Yeah. So December 9th um 2020 was my first affiliate stream so backtrack about two two or so weeks prior to that that's when i actually started yeah um yeah now it was wild like it was random actually my first ever stream was a gym stream was it yeah it wasn't like a call of duty stream it was a gym stream because um kyle and i were just talking smack at a gym i'm like imagine if i stream this blah 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 this and that it would show up wow because i've got your your twitch tracker pulled up right so i can see Oh, right. Yeah, your first one's 29th of November, 2020. Yeah. It said you had... Stream? It said Modern Warfare. Oh. It says you had 85 average viewers. I was wondering really? if, if, if that was a host or if no, that's just a... it wouldn't have been. Mistake, yeah. The, that's a mis I feel like it's a, mis a mistake because the... The biggest um host i ever got was from zach of course yeah um and it was i think my maybe my third or fourth stream in mm. i was playing it was a night time in sydney like i remember because i was i remember it vividly because i got hosted and i was playing um with some of my sydney homies and i was doing a recon in downtown <laughs> yes yeah so i remember yeah yeah, I remember that. I yeah, was, I, I got, I'll never get over that. I was like, oh my god, the one time I get raided, and I'm doing a recon, um, yeah, a recon scab, a, a recon in downtown. Yeah, I remember that. I remember the raid was coming, and I mm -hmm. quickly went over to your stream, like just to double check your face before it happened. Yeah. And when it happened, it was it was great. I loved it. That's good. I was, I was actually dead set in the middle. I was in the, in the middle of the recon. Fucking, it was yeah. a tall tower, I think. <laughs> I was just doing it. Like, you know, when people do recon, they do the spinny thing around the... This was shit and giggles. Yeah, that was me. And this was this was before I had a foot pedal. This is before I had a yeah. dummy battery on my camera. Yeah. I remember and your camera used to keep turning off. Yep. 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 Now, now it doesn't turn off anymore because no. I got me a short stream cam now. Yeah, you got the uh, the small upgrades over the years. Yeah, a little upgrades over here and there. A couple of upgrades here and there, you know. Um, yeah, like at the beginning, of when I started streaming, I said like, whatever money I'll make on stream, I always bring back to stream, whether it was upgrading equipment, upgrading software, yep. giving back to the homies. It's mainly giving back to the homies. Mm. Like, as, as much like, as, as support as like the big guys as, as much as I can, because at the end of it, if it wasn't for them, honestly, I wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Yeah. That's honestly the one of the reasons why I started was the fact that 
you know, when we started from Iceman, I was like watching that. He rated Z, and then Alicia just found a second home. To be honest with you, like all the people, you bearded whoever, Jay Rattle, Ronan again, um, fuck everybody from the US, Splits, mm. White, Hell Jumper, man. I could the list goes forever. Hawk, man. I could keep going. The big guy Z, like they created a, a second home for me during COVID, like. I had nothing to do. I didn't know. I had no one to talk to. Like, all my friends were, like, across the pond, right? Like, yep. even though they're down the road, I still can visit them or whatever. I came to ch uh, came on Twitch. Everybody was there. Everybody was just cracking jokes. Everybody's giving um, digs at each other. It was just a good time for everyone. It was like a perfect storm of everything for Warzone, yeah. Warzone taking off and the stream. Yeah. Uh, Zach's stream in particular, where we all met each other and started hanging mm. out for like months on end every day. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like straight up. Like I, I actually figured like like before, I got to know you really well. Like I actually just figured saw your pattern to when you'd be online. I'm like, all right, I won't play anymore. Maybe he wants to run some. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I'm just <laughs> like, all right, and then we go from there. Actually, the first the first SG homie I've ever played with was Lost Soldier because it was one okay. of it was during the daytime on his e streams, and then he was like, "Is there any any other Aussies around in chat?" Mm. Obviously, you put your hand up, and then Lost Soldier put his hand up. Then I added him first, and he goes, "Hey, do you want to run some games now?" Yeah, I'm like, "Oh fuck, um, give me a second. I'll switch on my game. Let's go. Let's run it." Easy. And then yeah, you only came on like half the time at night, so it's like, well, yeah, I didn't catch you during through 12, 12 p.m. in the afternoon, so I just uh, I'll wait for you at night then. Ah, oh, let's see. That's nice. Yeah. Dedicating some Mingus time. Oh, yeah. For that jawline, baby. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Come on now. Hey, this isn't about me. This is about you. So what about me? <laughs> so pretty much, it, like, we we know the story of how we met each other through Sock Gang Gaming, Exact Stream, hanging yep. out every day. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, did that, in, like, you weren't streaming at that time exactly. That's so, sort of when you started, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. Would you say well, that was that that sort of like inspired you of, of what you wanted or yeah no 100 percent like to create a community where everybody could just be themselves talking about a lot of shit and watch an absolutely like insane guy on a, on a video game is insane mm. and like like z has said many times like he'd be there one beat 12 and 20 other people or whatever and here we are in chat talking about like well done steak <laughs> like that's facts that that is a community that i want to be a part of yeah and then like it, again he's he said it as well like he'd be winning a tournament and we'll be talking about like anything know, foot fetishes anything yeah, and everything anything. bro yeah. like it, it's insane and then we we all share pain we all share happiness we all share love all in one place like mm. over the internet and people have been said like it's weird people like be careful with strangers on the internet then here i am like literally bawling my eyes out because i had a homie in, yeah. the, in the u.s you know yeah like yeah so it's funny like i was talking about this uh with some other people as well it's it's funny how there's it's like the the type of stream that you like to watch or be in is mm. probably the type of streamer that you're going to be like oh i agree with that you can you can go you can go either way you could be someone who's just all about the gameplay and it's all about being really good and the chat's sort of secondary or mm. chat's really the community and everything comes first and the game whatever you're playing the game anything is secondary like it could be yep. you could be playing anything and still vibe out with the same people agreed i 100 uh, agree with that yeah. like honestly it's half the time is i miss the chat not the gameplay like i play the game i play this game every day and i hate this fucking game yeah <laughs> but if it wasn't literally for you guys i i wouldn't be playing this game i would have given up within season three yeah to be honest like who wants to play a game where you spend five minutes looking for a decent gun and then you just get sniped for some some guy sitting on the tower it, it is definitely like, rough uh, on, honestly like i only play for the homies yep yeah <laughs> Like if uh, if you didn't continue streaming, like if you stopped halfway, like if you went, you know, went back to work and stuff, mm. I wouldn't be playing as much. Mm. Same with Bearded, same with Jared. Yep. Yeah. I I, I stuck around for the homies. I I did like um that you you started doing variety on your streams. You started doing gym streams like yeah religiously every Saturday, Sunday yeah. in the mornings. Mm -hmm. Wake up first thing in the morning. I see I see you popping a squat. 
Yeah. Hey, man. Just benching my body weight just with ease. Oh, yeah. It's fun times. Yeah. Training my shit this morning, though. Well, man. I had one of those days. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody gets those. It's all right. No, like, the gym streams are fun. They were really, really fun. Um, It's just it's very hard to, like... Um, I found it hard for me to concentrate on a, like, when I'm at attempting a PR, like yeah. to get in the mindset while I'm trying to entertain at the same time. Yep. Um, and there's a, there's a few multiple times in when there's weird ones that I've seen in chat, like randos, like not really focusing on what I'm trying to tell them and what I'm trying to say. They're just really just perving on people around me. Oh, really? And one of the things that I'm about is I'm very overprotective of people who I care about. Yep like a very overprotective like i would throw myself in front of him just to save him from a falling book or whatever but yeah um if you can get me comfortable i'll make it a bit take it a bit easier on you guys but mm. no half the time no chances are no no that's fair enough yeah. Yeah, i'd never noticed that stuff but yeah that's crazy um no, there's um there's always there's a weirdo things, there's always a weirdo in chat and i've so when i've ever gym i'm actually holding um Kylie's phone half the time. Mm. So if I ever see somebody saying something sideways, I just block them straight away. Oh, um, from modding, modding from her phone. Yeah, I mod yeah. from her phone. Yeah, yeah, noted. Because like, it's so hard to control when like I've got the camera in front of my face. Yeah. I mean, like the the chat bar on the side with the camera as well. Sometimes like I just turn my phone and just cut the stream. Yeah, I didn't even know you could stream from from your phone, to be honest, till mm. I saw you at the gym. I'm like, wow, he bought his whole like laptop or something there. It's like, <laughs> yeah. No, just a phone. It, it, it's, a, it's actually insane. Like, um, When Z did his IRL stream, he had some overlays and stuff. And I think Miss Dark has got it as well. I just don't know how to do it oh, really? to, on my phone. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Just, they actually have their alerts and stuff on it running. Um, oh, okay. But when I do it, it's just nothing. That's why on my whenever I have dream stream, I actually stay at the beginning that I don't get any alerts whatsoever. Yeah. So if there's any um, recent follows, resubs or whatever, I just thank them from the get go. No, I dabbled in the the gym streams while we had the COVID lockdown mm. as well. Yeah, no, no, I remember those, and, and I, I didn't get any alerts. Yeah, same. And all like the one thing I remember is how hard it is to actually talk while I'm. Mm like between sets yeah i didn't realize i was that out of breath till, till i started to try and talk to people yeah it's insane like legit yeah. um <laughs> when I'm, whenever I, I think i've only done ever once on on a gym stream when i did a pr attempt on a deadlift all, all through my lifts mm. and in between sets i'll be like gassed out yeah you literally can't talk you can't talk it is so hard um so there's actually a few streamers when um, when I was doing the gym stream, they were coming up on my feed about like health and fitness and stuff. And mm. like in, the, the, the whole session took like three hours and he's only done like legit one hour worth of workouts. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. yeah. Cause like he's talking, he's entertaining, he's on that, he's doing a workout at the same time. Yeah. Especially if you get <laughs> caught talk, talking on a topic for like good, like five, 10 minutes and mm -hmm. there goes, there goes your like. You're set. You're basically starting <laughs> again. Goes, yeah, there goes your session. Yeah. What I'm actually thankful for is actually Tato half the time when I'm doing my set or in between sets, she's... She gets her face she, on the camera and starts She's chatting. engaging with you guys. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. engaging with chat, which is I'm like super thankful for because I actually get to catch my breath and I actually get to focus. <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah, but still, it's still hard. It's still dummy hard. Do you have um, Do you have plans to keep doing the gym streams? Is that something you're going to continue for a while? I, I actually do. I should, yeah, I actually do want to continue gym machines again. It's just, um, at the moment, it's a bit, it's a bit weird because everybody, everybody at the gym now is like very up in your face about it. Like everybody's like looking around, always like eyeing what you're doing and all that stuff. I'm like, dude, I'm just streaming. Like for me, like I usually don't care, but it's mm. gone to the stage where all eyes on me kind of BS. Really? I thought you got like a private corner in there. That there's no one else around. Yeah, usually. But mornings nowadays, it's time to get packed. Mm. Yeah, because everybody wants to get into that like early morning routine kind of BS, and you know get the workout out of the way as well, which is what what I'm doing. Yeah, I get it exactly. So it's just everybody's on the same boat. The difference is I'm trying to entertain homies online. Like you're talking to your phone. Yeah, I've never seen that. I've never seen someone streaming at while. Well, while at the gym, I've seen people setting up their phone on a tripod and they're recording mm -hmm. themselves. Yeah. Or something like that. I've never seen people talking into a stream. And I'd like, I personally, because I've been uh, like, 
I've been in front of a camera and talking to to a stream and that I I probably wouldn't even look twice. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I feel paranoid pulling my phone out to record myself because I feel like people are watching. Yep. Even I though do. even though they might not even be, it's just like a out in public kind of thing. Mm. Self conscious. Yeah. Yeah, you get a bit self conscious. I did get a bit self conscious at the beginning of my um the the whole gym stream scenario. Yeah. But yeah, I just. I just said fuck it to be honest. <laughs> I was like, now nah, fuck exactly. it. Exactly. Have some fun. Like, Go for hey, it. if you guys want to be in camera, by all means. If you don't like it, just get out the way. Like respectfully. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, I've actually had a gentleman a few times just walk up to me while I'm while I was gym streaming. I was like, hey, hey, hey you know this guy. He's a, uh, you know, he was, just, he was just gassing me up. Mm. Which was nice of him. I like. I thought it was gonna be weird about it, but I've no, been that was thankful nice enough. Him. Yeah. No, I've been thankful enough to that he's uh, he was a genuine nice guy. Especially because you're not the type to, um, you're not looking at and pointing the, the camera at other people. Hey, look at this guy. He's being, look mm. at this guy's technique or anything. You're just, you're doing your own thing. You, you yeah. don't, like no one else matters except for basically you and the yep. stream. So, yep, 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 yep. Being respectful to everyone around you. Yeah. Try to be. Yeah. Try to be. So I know, I know that you've had some, um, some scheduling differences. Like you took a bit of a break. Yeah. Recently. Yeah, a little two month break. A little two month break. Two month break. I You're didn't like, know if you was... were coming back. Nah, I was coming back. You're coming back. Nah, I was gonna make a comeback. No, I look. I honestly enjoy streaming. So one of the few things that really got me off the game was when I got off. A my controller was busted, so any kind of movement was just chalk. Mm. Like moving to the moving to the right right straight. I couldn't I couldn't make a right straight. Yeah. So uh, if I try to be up to the left, that's fine. But I'd be up to the right now. I'm I'm not going anywhere. Mm. Um. And the state of the game as well. It was just unplayable for me. Mm. Like I I I'm still complaining about it. Like skill based RNG or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Blessings from the god gods, whatever. <laughs> I just got over it. You know, like I go I get online uh even with streaming or without streaming i get online play for a bit like i want to wind down after a long day of work or whatever yeah and then now nah, i have to literally from sweating the whole day at work I have to sweat online as well just because i yeah. got this ttv wannabe guy be hopping challenge double challenge or whatever shooting my body and in a video game I'm like yo can you like chill it's a monday night you don't need to be this turn for no reason oh no and it's it's the worst thing when like like you said, your equipment fails or mm -hmm. the game is not fun. Yeah. It's very hard to stream at the same time because Yeah. It's all about like you can like when you're watching someone, you can tell when they're annoyed or when they're having a good time or when they're having a bad time. Mm, yeah. And with me you could actually read it on my face straight away. I don't try to hide anything. Um yeah, no, there was there was a there was a lot of factors that came into why I stopped. Um, so besides the equipment fails and uh, the the camera just shutting off on and off on and mm. off that really bugged me. So I was just like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, you know, dealing with the cold camera issues, like mm. it'll work when I'm not streaming. But once I start streaming, that's when all the technical issues happen. That um, works. Yeah. Um, what else was there? There was a couple of other just internal soft software stuff like my frames cutting like mm. half by half when I'm playing as well and streaming at the same time. But that goes, you know, with with having just a single PC set up. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever consider switching games or did you feel like your stream is pretty much tied to Call of Duty? Um, I have streamed uh, other games as well. I've streamed um, Dota. I've streamed, um, uh, what was that? Sea of Thieves. Sea I was actually thinking yeah. of like, yeah, I was thinking about taking your advice the other day. Say, I'm um, streaming Destiny. Yeah, but I'm like, what can it like? So with Destiny, there's two aspects to it. There's a PVE, so player versus environment uh, events or whatever, and then there's PVP, which is player versus player, mm. um, which is like pretty much your multiplayer, or whatever. Yeah. PVP is a sweat fest. Yeah, like, it would be. Yeah, hundred percent yeah and whereas it's pve there's only so i feel like this is just me like i could be completely wrong um in my opinion i feel like with pve there's only so much of it you can watch without you without a viewer getting bored okay. but at the same time that'll go that also goes without saying but as a streamer you should be entertaining and finding ways to keep your viewers engaged and to you know obviously chat and stick around 
during a stream. Now, I know not everybody is much of a talker or like to type things in chat or just literally they just like me sometimes. I just like to sit back and literally just watch. Yep. Um, I've done it multiple times to a lot of homies who stream. Like, I'd come in chat. I'll just literally just sit back and watch. Yeah, watch you don't feel play. like talking in chat. I don't feel like, like talking. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm inclined of chat, but I I've, I've told multiple times whoever's lurking around, thank you or whatever. Yeah. I feel like yeah. the the ratio to from like lurkers to to um, active chatters is very in favor of lurkers. Yep. Yeah. Like, and it's it's sort of like you appreciate having the lurkers and people coming there to, to just watch you because mm. hey, if they're enjoying themselves, that's yeah. that's what you want. Yeah, but at the no, same exactly. time, how, like how much easier is it to be entertaining when you've got a chat to bounce off? It's such a yep. double edged like sword. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 definitely a fine line. Mm. Definitely double edged sword. Yeah. How did, how did you find like when you were going from when you're starting out to making affiliate? Did you, were you like worried about the viewers or you just didn't care who was there? I, I didn't care who was there. I was more worried about the randoms who come in. Okay. That was my biggest thing. Like if there are new, if there are new people who, you know, who just randomly clicked on my profile or whatever, mm. um, they like the vibes, you know, say hello or whatever. I appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by whatever. But when it comes to the weirdos who just come in, like I, prefer like that's why i kept my my chat on followers only mode for a bit like that okay. works yeah so that was actually just a fail safe for me yep um obviously what because as far as i know twitch when twitch looks at your account they look at your chat as well because technically you are in charge of your chat yep or what is said in chat so whatever they say reflects on you and if twitch doesn't like that they'll you know ban you or whatever yeah. So that was that was my biggest concern was when randoms come in and then say random ass shit, which has happened multiple times already, and and none of the mods are there. So sometimes I'd mod my like I'd open my phone up and mod through there. You have to mod your own stream, yeah. Yeah. On a single PC it. that must be really hard. Nah, I I, I have it on my iPad open okay. or my phone, so um, so it kind of works fine. And I also got my laptop, my actual my old laptop next to me open as well. Mm. And I just like have mod VR on there. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's a bit hard having to like juggle between a controller and a keyboard at the same time. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Especially when you're playing like a game like Call of Duty where you actively have to be involved mm. in the game most of the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sweating. But yeah, we've had uh, we've had a few randoms come in and, and do stuff. It's when, when, the, when the mods are in, it's it, like it's dealt with pretty quickly. It's usually just a quick delete message ban whatever but yeah it's, it's definitely hard when there's when there's no one around and it's just you mm. yeah that's that's like one of my biggest fears during um so Ka taylor and i have actually talked about it a few times like where she runs the stream she literally takes over the stream like the whole yep. four or so hours whatever, whatever she wants to be online mm. um when i'm not around like if i'm at work or whatever um yeah some random just comes in then just you know harasses her that's that's one of my big spheres yeah 100 percent. i know that i've seen in my uh many uh twitter lurking uh days that mm. there's a lot of um there's a few female streamers who are talking about uh they put their their streams into um verified accounts only so i think you can and like once you verify your account with the phone number that's when mm. like uh, you get a like an unlock and you can you can talk into their chat kind of thing oh okay which is kind of like a follower mode but more like follow only mode but more advanced because it's like you can't just create an account and just go into a chat yeah, yeah. how am i looking to that yeah it could be interesting mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to be fair like personally i haven't found a lot of randoms come in saying weird stuff to me it's more like Hey, can we play? And it's like that's their first message that they've ever sent said to you in your in yeah. Their life. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I actually had a funny one the other day. Like this is actually a few months ago. Um, I saw my stream literally on the intro. This guy types a message like, "Hey, my name is this, 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 and this." Yeah. Can we play? Can I promote my channel on your channel? I'm like, uh, kind of. I've, I've I've literally been live for like a minute. Kind of, yeah. Against the <laughs> etiquette. <laughs> Yeah, I was, like literally it was like the first message and it was like, not even, no joke, it was literally after the intro and the guy was like, 
da, 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 da. I'm like, no, nah, fuck you. I'm, bump, bump. Can, I'm bumping you straight away. Can you remember the weirdest thing that anyone's ever said to you in your Twitch chat? How do I score girls? Just that was the, the only yeah. thing I said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not exactly word for word, but oh, okay. how do I get scared? How do I get my um, my baby carrot, you know, <laughs> harvested? <laughs> I was like, the fuck? <laughs> well, step one, get off Twitch. Get off Twitch, exactly. Yeah. Ah, dude, I remember someone came into mine once and I don't think anyone was around except for... Um, uh, you might have been asleep or something and left a stream on. You were there, but you weren't there. Mm. And the guy was like um, asking me about the type of underwear I wear. Huh. And then he asked me to say something out loud. It was sort of like a promo to budgie smugglers or something like that. Like, I'm oh, o- wow. Like, I'm an Aussie and I wear budgie smugglers or something like that. Like, he, was, he said he was putting together a video. I've never seen said video ever a service on the internet so i don't know if my face is on his phone somewhere and he watches it in private oh my god i was kind of like shook at the time Mm. i was like um yeah yeah, sure i'll say that why not Mm -hmm. oh my god hilarious all right congrats uh, again on getting the raise uh affiliate no 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 this is not about me we're talking about you Yeah, 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 yeah yeah Um, so something I wanted to ask you about is your um is your TikTok game because I know that um I think you were the first person I followed on TikTok. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a TikTok and I went mm. and followed a few of the homies. Your name looked yep. I looked it up first because and then I went through your follower, um, who you're following and started following some of the same people. Yeah. Do you do you pay much attention to TikTok? You don't you... I I honestly don't. It's literally like Twitter to me, but videos. Mm. I just scroll through, and if I like something, I like something. If I don't, I don't. It's so it's, it's not yeah. really like you're, you. It's another platform for you to try and grow or anything like that. It's pretty much no, just... no. It, well, I I upload stuff here and there, but it's nothing like I grind for. I don't look at the analytics. I'm not. Yeah. I don't. So back in the day, in a galaxy not too far, um, literally neighborhood next next to me mm-hmm. i used to run um so i used to work in a supplement store and i was in charge with social media yep um that'd be um their social media manager for a, a good couple of months so i was looking at the analytics on how to grow a page and all that stuff mm. it was hard work yeah like, oh my god like and I'm, I'm and i'm very analytical when it comes to that stuff and i need to know why yep why this post failed why this post succeeded how can i target more audience like that was part of a job that I didn't need to do, but I was doing. Mm. So that kind of sucked the life out of the social social media game for me, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, it was so fun at the start, but towards the end, it was just like, ugh. This when it again? becomes, it feels like a job. Like a yeah, grind. Yeah, it becomes a job. Yeah. 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 I suppose if, you, if, you're, like... if you're not concerned, like, oh, I have to reach 10,000 followers ASAP, mm. it, you know, it, you can get stressful. But if you're literally in the game just because you're streaming... Mm. to have fun yep like yeah i mean I, it definitely helps the mental mm. no 100 percent. like i percent agree with you like that's why i feel like sometimes there's only so many clips as well i could also post yeah like i've got clips on clips on clips but like is it tiktok worthy kind of clips or it's just like mm. instagram story kind of clips because i like i post a lot um i post it on my clips on instagram stories yep which is like this where i actually post all my shit I don't, I should post them on TikTok because I think some of them are personally, I think they're pretty entertaining in their own right. But at mm-hmm. the same time, it's like, is it worthy? Is it worthy of the TL, you know? <laughs> are you, are you, are you doubting or are you just are you like? No, I'm second guessing my clips. Second guessing your clips. Yeah. That's one of my, also my biggest flaws. Is I second guess a lot of things I do. Mm. Yeah. Is that something you you want to change, or are you happy with that? Like, no, no, no. I want to change that. It's just a bad, very bad habit that I've got. Okay. Because yeah. like, um... when when I see those numbers and it's not the numbers that I expect it to be, that's when it kind of hits hard. Mm. Like, yeah. Just yeah. For example, the cl- the Claymore clip, right, with the gas can. Yeah. Um. When USA told me to do it, I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna blow up. Yeah. I I look at the the um the most best time to post best audio to use literally <laughs> like you use the viral hashtags that everybody uses yeah this is, this is when the the analytics stuff when uh, when i was running the page the social pages came mm-hmm. in like yeah i got excited you know 
use this hashtag use that hashtag use this audio post at 11 p.m at night australian time yes post yep. <laughs> yep. you know like because if you look at it what's the first thing well you know this works with mornings and nights right what's the last thing you hold before you go to bed yeah nine times out of ten is your phone when you wake up the first thing in the morning what's the first thing you hold nine times out of ten it's your phone because you've got an alarm you know right so when i posted that and it didn't it didn't blow up as like I, I hoped it to be it got one point like 1.6k views mm. but the guy that i was telling you about did the exact same thing had no audio no hashtags or anything like that and he had like twenty thousand views i'm just like wow what did i do wrong yeah yeah so that that's that's sort of that gets to me and the difference is he posted his i think the same time as i did but just a different day so that could be a factor or whatever or yeah so that's what i just don't get half the time is with this whole social media things just it 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 annoys me <laughs> and it, that's why i second guess that's why i second guess half my half the stuff that i do now on social media it's like oh is this gonna blow up is this gonna get like Dude, yeah i feel that 100 percent. yeah so on is on, on instagram when i used to actually take a look at my analytics heavily because mm. i always use the analytics tool tools yep. and stuff um for me the best times were at like 8 a.m in the morning yep 8 a.m uh and i used to use tools for certain hashtags that allow me to the the most active hashtags oh um, yeah i've seen that yep yeah so i actually used those tools there and it actually got the engagement that i wanted um there was one post when i did like two hashtags and it was literally just me a photo sitting in front of a swing set at a, a playground sorry and actually got 300 likes within i think 10 minutes dude and that's, that's just crazy. a photo of me yeah a photo of me just standing in a in front of a playground and yeah. then i did like my old gym stuff which blew up for a bit and then it just kind of died down and then i was just like i think i haven't posted anything on instagram within like a year a year and a bit two years mm. uh almost give me a sec i'll actually tell you exactly when it's all it's all been stories from you yeah july yeah. 20th 2020 was my last post on instagram wow yeah this is yeah that was long ago mainly stories now um yeah dude yeah i, no. I feel that especially about the analytics so um tiktok for me is just a whole it's its own beast, beast. there's yep there's like uh, so i went through a phase where like i'm gonna upload every day mm. And I'm going to, like, whatever it is, I'm just going to be consistent and post every single day. Because, like, they, people, like, experts have said, you, you know, upload three times a day every day. And it's like, <laughs> I only stream, like, maybe nine to ten hours a week. I don't have that much stuff to post. Yeah. And, like, I'm not, I'm not big on putting my own face out there on, like, voiceovers and stuff like that. That's probably not my kind of thing. But, um, so I went through, I wrote down, the exact time I posted clips, the hashtags I used, how long the clip was. Mm. Then I would go back and see the, um, like the percentage of time people viewed, um, any extra like stats that I could get out of it, the title, the thumbnail. I wrote down all these notes yeah. for about a month. I did that. Oh wow! And you know what I found? Like, like as a um consistent amongst all those posts mm, what was no, that? nothing nothing absolutely yeah. nothing use the same hashtags <laughs> and the same Dang. length of video and like yep. it would be chalk and cheese yeah some things i would put so much effort into th some things it was literally a last minute i'll just clip this and put it together and they both yeah. would do well or like even the the one i put less effort into did really well wow uh, sorry the one i put less yeah did really well yeah wow. but um <laughs> I think you would love YouTube analytics because I oh, find yeah. the TikTok ones are very basic. The YouTube ones, very, very good. I, like if you wanted yeah. to post on YouTube and like just for analytics sake, dude, yeah. go check that out for sure. All right. All right. I remember Brandon giving us some tools for that Yeah, as well. I forgot what it was though. That's when I was uploading stuff on YouTube like uh, once or twice a week. Yep. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's, it's a weird... It's a weird game out there too because, mm. it, it, like, how many people are doing the same things just a Warzone clips? Yep. It's like you got to be so unique and do yep. something completely different. Yep. Agreed. Because I feel like 
it's not even about how good your video is or how good how nasty your clip is or anything like that sometimes it's just how stupid and engaging like you, you put a like uh, a caption saying i'm the best in the world and mm. put yourself just a normal squad wipe and then you got people in the comments say you're not the best in the world this is trash blah blah blah. but it's engagements and then all of a sudden yeah. it, it blows up it's a number yeah exactly huh oh, that's true it's crazy i guess, I guess you put it that way yeah Especially TikTok, I, I feel like. Oh, dude. I, I've seen... I've read your comment section, bro. <laughs> I've read your comment section. I'm like, damn. Bro, holy it, shit. Yeah. Dude, yeah. some... And it's like... The troll... It's the trolley videos that get engagements that blow up. Mm. Which is what I don't like. Like, it's fun. Like, it's great to see, uh, like... Millions numbers, go up. numbers like followers coming out of nowhere like yep. for weeks i was getting notifications on the same video i posted from weeks before yeah but it's it's annoying that it's a trolley thing and not something like um i feel like i put a lot of effort into to show off me or anything mm. like that you know yeah that's understandable yeah um, we we live in a meme culture brother it is a meme culture Yep. Mm. And it's uh it's kinda sad to be honest half the time. True. What yeah. would you say what would you say to D starting off? Any advice? For somebody starting off? Yeah, what would you say to yourself? Uh oh, have fun with it. Let you have fun. Like make the mistakes. Don't don't be afraid to put yourself put yourself out there. Say obviously say things that you know you'd want to say, but also don't say things you don't want to say. But be yourself. Like, if you swear, just swear. Um, I, like, that's going to be, obviously, subjective to a lot of people. But, like, for myself, I have i don't have a filter. I don't like sugarcoating a lot of things. I call things as, as it is. But at the same time, you know, obviously think about what you're saying. Um, have fun with it. Really, li li that's the main one I could really say. Just have fun with it. I'm not going to say, like, what, what most people say, you know, trust the grind and all that stuff. Everything like for me, once you say that it's a grind, it's gonna be it'll feel like work. Yep. L literally, it's a treat it as a hobby. Um, build a community, get to know the the names of viewers and the names of the viewers that you have, and connect with them at a personal level. Obviously, not too personal, but connect with them to a point where the next time that you see their names, I mean, on the stream, you say, "Hey, Mingas, how was your?" day at the museum such and such you know what was your favorite piece you remember you know, something about them yeah you remember something about them and that's one of those things that I admire about zach the most mm. is that i can say one thing and then three days later he'll say this he'll recall it i'm like oh shit i forgot to i should talk to him about that yeah that goes yeah. out like i think he's a rare mix of being like top one percent of the game like being really mm. good at a game and being really engaging at the same time yeah like it's so rare it's either you see like my early days on twitch i was i was watching some of the big guys that were just nasty and there was like no engagement with chat or like i'd go in there type hello and then like half a second later the chat's moving so fast that my message mm. is gone and like people don't even know you're there yeah i don't even know how people talk to each other on some of these twitch chats like that that's crazy to 100 yeah. percent. but um yeah. yeah um that, that's yeah that's my one advice for any new streamers is have fun have fun be goofy don't be afraid to make mistakes you know no 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 stream is ever perfect <laughs> no not yeah. at all. there's yeah. and <laughs> what do you think would be the number one issue for a streamer starting out oh what's something equipment. that yeah. Audio. Audio. <laughs> <laughs> That's the yep. biggest issue. Yep. Audio. Audio is going to be a biggest issue. Yeah. How how long do you think it's taken you to figure out? Oh, how long do you think it took you to figure out my your audio your issues? audio your setup? <laughs> Brother, I'm still trying to figure yeah. out my audio issues. <laughs> like no, no joke. I was actually flip fiddling around my audio issues while we're doing this. <laughs> Dude, I, I I feel like. I feel like you can get your like all your settings dialed in after a couple yeah. of weeks or months or whatever, but if you ever change anything, that that just chalks it all and like it all yeah. goes out the window. You have to start again from scratch. There's always something that I don't know yeah. a setting change. You do an update and and your 
I don't know, your OBS resets your scene and then you mm-hmm. got to, I don't know, man. Audio, yeah. I think, is, yeah, I agree with you, the biggest. It's, it's, it's the biggest issue that anybody will face. Like, mm. for, um, I've, I've seen tutorials online about, like, starting out as a streamer, blah, 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 and all that stuff. Like, mm. they've always said audio is going to be your priority. Yep. Don't worry about the, don't worry about the video. Don't worry about the overlays. Don't worry about the alerts. You know you can figure that out later. Yep. But audio is gonna be your biggest challenge because you can you can never hear yourself while you're testing these out unless you go live. Like obviously, like you know you can use the playback on um on one of the the advanced options, right? But yep. once you get to the level of being live, that's what you're actually broadcasting. It's not going from your PC back to you. It's going from your PC to the internet, then back to you. So you got the extra layer of yeah. latency or encoding or whatever they want to call it. Dude, I think it took me about two months Oh geez. to realize that uh, my audio repeated itself. So I was oh. getting the echo like, a, like it was playing yeah. back twice. Yeah. Because I was, had a setup wrong where I was hearing myself in my headset and mm. then it would like loop through the stream and mm. like you would hear it, hear, it, hear it twice. So a lot of my early yeah. VODs, it's just, it's just echoed. Everything's echoed. Yeah, I remember that. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, like, yeah thanks. And, hey, well, I it was, told no, you. It was, yeah, it was probably, it was probably, it, later. it was probably you that told me about it too. Uh, I didn't even it figure just, it out. It's all you. Because it, it wasn't, it's in your intro. Yeah, it is. That's the first, yeah. yep. hundred percent. When we were running with, um, what's the name? Rated and... Rated, yep. And um, what's his name? Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was uh, another thing I learned. I learned um, going through all my vods and stuff when I was making that intro video. Mm. And I know I've, I've said it to you before, but it's like I remember watching myself, but like watching good clips and good moments and everything like that. But also seeing times where I was raging and times where I was getting very upset on stream, like mm. either at the game, at other people, at myself. Yeah, and like you said before, it's very obvious on your face. It was yeah. so obvious seeing it on myself, and it was such an ugly side. It was like the worst part about making an intro video and going through my old old vods was seeing me lose my mind over yeah. stuff that doesn't matter. Like it doesn't matter. Mm. The game doesn't matter. Yep, it's a video game at the end of the it day. It is a video game at the end of the day, but we lose our minds over this thing, don't we? Hmm. Bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The amount of times I almost actually throw my controller across the room. <laughs> lucky, no joke. L- lucky it's so expensive though. Yeah, that's the only thing hold, holding you back. <laughs> Legit. And the and the shipping time. It takes so long to get another one. Yeah. You can't afford I mean, that downtime again. Hey, shout out controller mods. We're not sponsored, but hey, sponsor us maybe. Yeah. Hey. Um, you know, one month, one month shipping versus the other guys. Three months, five months, six months. Hashtag ad. Hashtag not even an ad, but sponsor me. That would be nice. That would be nice. So we yeah. both we both pretty much agree that Z is like the inspiration. Yeah. Basically. Have, have you ever looked towards like your peers? Like cuz yeah, I remember no. when I when I first started and I not not even when I started, when I first joined Twitch and there was like you realize in Twitch chats who's a streamer as well cuz people are like, "Oh, I saw you stream last night." I'm like, I clicked on their name and I'm like, "Oh, this BH Slim guy. He's a streamer." Mm. And I was yeah. so intimidated by Slim as a streamer because i didn't i was like oh my god streamers are like up there and then mm-hmm. i don't like i always look to everyone else around me as well what they're doing and like how i can incorporate the good things they do mm. personally yeah. yeah no i agree with you there's obviously there's other guys who who have ever looked up to obviously slim is one of them mm. just because like no joke i think slim's probably got one of the cleanest audio qualities that i've heard yeah like not not just through his voice, but his actual audio quality of the actual stream. Like I actually play him from my room, and I can still hear him from in at my kitchen. Yeah, he's very clean with his yeah, audio. Yeah, very very cr- cr- crisp. Yeah. Um, audio qual- vi- visual visual uh, visual quality wise, yours has gone up a lot. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, like dead ass. Like from your early days, like from legit your first stream. Oh, dude, when- I was streaming at seven twenty. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah and now it's like legit it's almost z's quality of streaming to be honest no like, to be don't... to be to be completely honest i didn't know because i was streaming off the laptop i didn't know it could handle more than what i was doing because mm. it was struggling um yeah i definitely learned a lot because i was using obs 
Um, so I was sorry, I was using Streamlabs. Yeah, and then which switching is a lot more. It uses a lot more resources. Yep. Then I went to OBS and I was oh, I can do 1080 easy. Mm-hmm. And now I think I'm like I'm outputting the stream to Twitch at 1440, and I know yeah. it, it will never show it. It's only going to show 1080, but it makes it look a no, lot it'll, better. It'll it'll downscale it. It downscales it, but it looks it'll, crisp. Yeah, crisp. Yeah, yeah. crisp as fuck, man. Like seriously. Yeah. Um. It was inspiring, man. like heaps, like engagement wise, like in in regards to interpersonal between people, like viewer and chatters. Um, you're up there. Brandon's up there as well. I like, love B. I love B's a streamer. Yeah, Brand- Wampus is a streamer. Like when he chats, like just speaks to you, and during his editing streams, like yeah, um, like actually, um, Tato took a photo of me one time when he was doing an editing stream, and she sent it to me on Snapchat. He goes. Babe, I've never seen you so focused in my life. Like fanboying with your hands yeah, in your face. Like, it yeah. wasn't even fanboying. It's, it was me actually being focused on mm. what B was trying to trying to teach me. It was uh, I don't remember the exact thing it was, but the next video I uploaded, I incorporated and it would kind of guess. Yeah. The uh no, it was a sniper transition when mm. I zoomed into a scope and then I swapped things. Yeah, that was nice. I remember that. Yeah, still clean. Yeah, because I usually oh. have uh, like a lot of people's streams up if I'm watching someone and I'll mm. flick between people. But when Brandon streams, he's one of the ones that I will usually just watch his. Yeah. He's, I've got, yeah, I, I do the same. Like, yeah. I've got, man, I got like four monitors. I literally have four <laughs> people around. There was actually one stage when I had, I had Zach, I had Miss Dorka, I had Slim, I had Ronan, I had Hawk. Mm running all at the same time yeah yeah that's insane. for the homies man for the for homies. The homies for the homies yeah 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 so like probably one of the most up, up and coming when i say up and coming i mean like people who recently followed um probably miguel in regards mm. to like identical disease vibes in regards to entertaining and engaging with chat and being um like a, a mean gun in the game yeah like he's he's very skillful and he's also like extremely engaging. Yep. Um, I didn't even know he like he's been in the sock gang for a like a long time. Mm. I didn't know he uh, was a streamer until we did the cooking caldera competition where everyone submitted their clips. Yep. And then like Z was gassing him up because like the quality was good and like it was a funny clip mm. and nasty at the same time and like yeah. yeah I went and clicked on him I was like dude this guy's got like thousands of viewers and he's never like like he never knew like yeah. in chat so yeah no agreed until um for me it was part when paco uh did a promo oh okay and then i clicked on it mad vibes and mm. then i then i did the at sock game which mm. pretty much gives it to everybody mm. for being a mod in the discord hey that is <laughs> hey but yeah. that's that's like networking isn't it mm, no well straight up Streaming That's is not. networking in, in in its own right. Like especially when we have channels like, um, I was like collab the collab channel where you put up your profession and if people need it, mm-hmm. they'll hit you up for it. Do you do you? Because I know that you're in like the Sock Gang Discord. Do you notice, not just in the Sock Gang Discord, other discords that you're in, um, mm-hmm. when people post in self promo but never post anywhere else? No. Oh yeah, that 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 grinds my gears. That's yeah, that's a pet peeve. That man. that that definitely grinds my gears a lot. Like, I uh, I don't I'm not as engaging in chat as much now just because I'm I'm at work. Oh, I, yeah. I literally twitch and drive. Yep. Don't do that. Don't I do don't that. promote that. No, I do that I for do the audio. I, I do no, that for actually, the audio. I still watch. I still watch and drive. Oh fine. <laughs> <laughs> Cal, I was trying to save you there, but no, fair enough. No, no, I, hey, bro, I told you, I don't sugarcoat things, but yeah, I, I Twitch and drive, and I do pay attention to chat at the same time, and I see names and all that. It's, obviously, there's like, there's at least 50 of us who are always in chat, who are always talking, who always ats everybody, you know, like, I don't know if it's Bliss Boy, Rachel, Paxi, you know, um, Langsta, um, Lizard King, whoever, like, they're the name studying Joe, like they're the names that you constantly see in chat. Yep. And if someone self promos 
and it's one of those guys i'm clicking because oh, yeah. you've at me you've at you've at whoever we've talked about other know? things before yeah we've joked about anything yeah like yep. you throw out jabs at me throw out jabs at me at, at you throw yeah. jabs at whoever you're engaging with us you're not literally just in the, in the discord promoting your channel yeah like all right cool like i honestly have sussed that son of them but i don't know who they are facts and I've, i feel like that's a problem there's some people who go these discords are for streamers and for growth hmm. and whatever it's just just because you're a streamer following other streamers doesn't mean that's like yeah growth it's not like uh, no you know i feel like I feel like Discord shouldn't be a platform for you to use to grow. Mm. That, this is just my opinion. Um, because it feels like you'll just get lost in everybody else's messages. Yep. And uh, this is probably another thing for like all streamers out there. Um, grow, learn to grow a community mm. with, and not necessarily live off another community, if that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. I love that. No, because yeah, it, it is noticeable it, when if you're in a community and then all of a sudden someone comes in with, "This is me, this is me, this is me. Come watch me, come watch me." Watch yeah, it. I'm and like, like, you've never seen them before, never seen them in chat, never seen you talk about anything else other than mm. your stream. Yeah, I'm probably less likely to click on you. Yeah, oh, 100. percent It's the same thing with the TTV guys. Like yeah. having, when I get killed by TTV or whatever, yeah. I'm like. If you're playing weird and you got TV in your classic, I'm not looking at you, bro. Yeah, if you're gonna Cali stick me in a corner, I'm uh, I'm not coming over. No. <laughs> no. Um. Although the other night when um we were playing, it was like the it was do a cheers or quads when we I ran into um to six. Yeah. I actually went into the chat. I'm like, bro, can you not gun me and my mate up in peak, bro? Come on, just leave me alone, man. <laughs> no, we, we had a laugh in chat. I was like, bro, you actually got me in peak. I'm like, no, I was ratting. Yeah, Because yeah. I was scared for my life. <laughs> yeah, shit on. Nah, actually, I was nah, in the corner. Nah, nah, I was in the corner, bro. I played dirty. I played you dirty, brother. I'm sorry. But nah. yeah. No, no, like six, six is a nice guy. I've um, I've ran, I've ran attorneys. I uh, ran attorney with him once. Mm. Gunny, uh, mouse and key yeah. guy as well, but very nice Ooh, guy. Okay, okay, yeah. No, it's it's funny that because yeah, like I said, you you notice names, you notice people, and mm. you don't know, you don't know who's in your streams. Like yeah, people come in and out, and you'll never you'll never see them. You'll never know because if you're playing a game, if you're talking to chat, you you never notice the lurkers that come in and out. There's names that will go in your streams that you will never believe. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And I heard I heard Brylik say that once, mm. and I didn't really believe him. But it, like a few months after hearing that, I was like, I realized that it is a hundred percent true. Yeah, you don't know who's in there. It could be sponsors, could be um, yeah. people you know, people you don't know, randoms, anything. Mm. I I remember like reading Z chat. Joe was in your chat one time. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. And then Irrational came into your chat the other night too. Dude, like you don't know. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's kind of why, I, like, I kind of like got to reflect on myself and watch myself be ugly on screen and to try and I wouldn't say change myself because it sounds like I'm trying to be fake, but mm. really try and develop that side of me better. Yeah, and like improve self improvement. Yeah, one hundred percent. You self growth. Self growth. Yeah. 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 Because, um, yeah, dude, so it, it's a hard place because it is just a hobby and, you know, everyone has a life. There's mm. always something that happens in life that you know, will interfere with your stream or your video games or your schedule. Yep. And it's, it's like it's hard to be great vibes every time, but... Oh, yeah, 100%. Like what, like what other tactics can you do other than try and... Put a smile on your face yeah. and breathe, you know? Yep. Like, there's days when I have a shit day. Mm -hmm. Like, I said I'm streaming. I don't want to stream, but I'm still going to lie. I think that's probably my worst stream, to be honest with you. Mm. Yeah. There are times where I can't wait to get home and play a game, and then, like, something will happen in the afternoon, or, like, mm -hmm. I'll run it, like, 
traffic and then there's someone who cuts me off and it pisses me off and then like yeah. i feel like i'm angry for that for that evening yeah. till i get on stream yeah. it sort of chokes the whole mood yeah no nah, that's with me it's like the game itself like mm. if it's literally three games in a row where i'm just oh, fucking rng you know or whatever that kind of just chokes my vibe. I'm like yeah i kind of want to end stream like there's actually my, my show to stream i think is like 45 minutes I just got pissed off. Yeah, because I got pissed off and I deleted the VOD. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I genuinely just got angry at the game. I was like, I actually don't want to play this game. I didn't even say bye. I just switched off the stream. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, that must have been a bad day. No, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually bad. That's why I don't like. It's very rare for me to stream at night. Because yeah. all the sweats are out. Yeah. And I don't want to have to put myself through that BS, you know. Mm-hmm. And that bullshit. Yeah, it's hard to find the um, the balance in terms of um, mm. positivity oh. in your life and having that transfer over to streaming, but also when it's the other way around, mm. getting the stream like and game negativity sometimes impacting your life. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So as long as yeah, I don't know what's what the answer is. You just try not to take it too seriously, but then again, I don't try and do this for a living, so I don't know how that yeah. makes a difference. Well, but for me, the, well, it boils down to not taking it seriously, right? Well, see it, see, well, the, the way two things you can see this, I guess, the streaming aspect of it, it's a hobby, mm. and you're playing a video game. The other aspect of it is it's a video game. It's mm. just a game, and I think Zia said it multiple times already. You're playing pubs. You're not playing for you know life changing money. Exactly. Don't, you know, don't let it get in your head, that, you know, too much. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes, like the way I've dealt with the, this kind of bullshit is literally like, it's a game, it's a game, yeah, it's a game. Like literally, when I play, it's like I'm, that's the only thing that's running my head. Mm. Win or lose, it's a video game, you know. Um, and you're not even playing online, like you're not even streaming live. Just for example, like when yep. right now, when I was when I was playing er earlier tonight, like, why am I getting so worked up? The guy was sitting in a corner in a bush. I had eight kills. You know, I, I wasn't, you know, if I was to record that whole game, there was about like a good 10 minutes of me patrolling a house. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not a life of that situation. Not exactly right. It's not like I have, I literally have a gun to my head. If I lose, I die. Mm. Or I'm playing a customs for a hundred, a million dollars or anything like that. I'm, I'm literally just playing pubs. Mm -hmm. And, a hundred and fifty other, pe hundred and forty nine other people are doing the exact same thing. So, I, I still, I'm still trying to develop that mentality of like, it's a video game. Yeah. You're not playing a tournament. You're not playing for a thousand dollars. You're not paying for twenty dollars. You're not playing for twenty cents. You're literally playing a video game in your own time. That's right. Don't get so worked up about it. Like I'm still at the stage where I'm trying to tell myself that before I play the game. It's hard. Like, it don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm perfect or I got it down pat. It's literally one of the hardest things for me is to separate the the sweat mm. to the casual. Like, I'll tell you now. I'm like, I'm I'm a casual gamer. I'm not. I'm not like. like sure, I play every day, but I'm a casual in the sense of like, I'm not playing tournaments every weekend. I'm not, not trying putting, to get in wages or anything like that. Yeah, or anything like that. Like, you know, salute to those guys who do it. I'm not doing it. So why why am I getting so worked up about Timmy Two Toes in the corner, right, with a gun? <laughs> Timmy Two Toes. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Nah, that's fair. Nah, it would um, yeah, it definitely makes a big difference when the the mentality is right. Mm, I, I remember yeah. there was like a period of a couple of months there when, um, like you pro you probably know like if when um when we lost uh people that we considered our friends close mm. like close to us even though they're from the other side of the world oh 100 like real life stuff like that can oh um, it'll affect you affect you 100 percent. and i felt yeah. it i felt it for a long time oh dude like there's not a day i haven't thought about the homie yeah like there was a post that i saw on twitter like a while back i actually reposted it on my instagram something about um oh, i gotta find the photo now it's something about my husband plays his video game every day and then one of his friends passed away online. Mm. 
Mm. Actually, I got it here. Miles Morales plays the video games with a group of people he's never met. Last week, one of one of them died. I'm I'm overhearing them playing today in in his honor. Um, laughing, talk, reminiscing about their friend. Yep. Don't ever tell me online friends are real. Sending yep. virtual hugs. So when I saw that post, I actually cried. Yeah, dude. So whenever people tell me online friends are real, I'm gonna smack them in the face. Yeah, that's uh, that's fake. Could have, that might have been a thing when 20 years ago, 20, 30, nah. 40 years ago. But nah, yeah. nah, nah, anyway. Think... Uh, so, this might be talking full forward. It was like, um, when when Taylor and I was having a chat the other night about like our wedding and stuff, mm. like our future wedding, I was like, we don't have very much IRL friends, <laughs> all of our friends are online. I'm like, it's a Twitch oh, wedding, yeah, Twitch wedding. Twitch <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Thoughts? What do you reckon? Is that a thing? Can we do that? Yeah. Or is that is that or is that bad juju for like us as a couple? I don't know, man. But I'm sure. No, I'm, like, I reckon I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure it would have happened before. Like, there's no yeah, way it hasn't. Uh, no doubt. Like, so I was actually planning in my head if like, how would we actually do a streaming wedding for mm. the homies? Like, how 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 am I gonna organize, like? how do i stream my wedding online do i do it like through discord or whatever or how well my my cousin because of covid had a zoom wedding ah and he okay, was, that works because he moved overseas anyway but um he was going to come here to get married but obviously couldn't because the travel bans mm-hmm. and everything so he had a zoom meeting and, oh. and did uh did a little wedding through that oh all right i guess i kind of sorted it out yeah easy <laughs> Predi- <laughs> predictions anyone does she say i do yeah <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> run a prediction. But I'm gifted to say no. Oh god. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So jo- jo- all joke aside, T- Carl- uh, Toto and I did have a talk about that. Like, we actually got it to the point where, okay, do we do you ask them to wear suits and stuff, or they can do it wear their PJs? Dude, like, who are we, who are we inviting? Like, like, even if you did a, a just a real life wedding with your close family and and friends, and then just hmm. streamed it like at the same time yeah yeah i reckon you could do no, that. We, we've um we've started writing a list already anyway so Ooh. we even though we haven't, we're not engaged or anything we've actually started writing a list. Hey, man <laughs> see that's that organization again <laughs> yeah 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 i've already started like budgeting my head on how much i'm paying who mm. who, I'm, who i'm flying over and stuff Ooh, interesting have yeah. you got people overseas like family that you'd like that would come over or is it pretty much all family local uh dad's side is local yeah so dad's side lives in uh newcastle so up north like three hours up north yep. or so uh mom says on the philippines okay yeah, yeah so, so you have quite a few overseas mm, relatives and it's big families at both sides yeah like big great grandkids now really yeah wow dang i know right <laughs> Can I feel make, old, man. You would have a lot of cousins. Holy. Oh, a lot. Man, I've lost count. Mm. I've yet, like, first cousins I've kept track of, but, like, their kids, I'm like... Oh, yeah. Who That's... Who yeah, f- that gets hard. Yeah, like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm such and such as daughter. I'm like... They had a kid? <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> sp- like, 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 speaking of which, like, I found out my cousin's getting married married at the end of the year. Yeah. It's like, and what? I only found out, like, last week. <laughs> i'm like hello yeah it's like that feeling like wait isn't isn't he only like seven years old no he's actually 25 now oh well, wow yeah okay. legit yeah. actually yeah like some of the cousins I, i've on mom's side who i rarely see just because of you know international travels and whatever mm. it's like the first time i met them is when they were 10 years old already yeah 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 facts yeah and then obviously i'm some of them are within my brother's age um mm. and then when i fly back it's like 10 years later. Yeah. And then I realized my brother's 23 and such and such is 24. Yeah. The other one's 21. I'm like, pause. They've just hold, had a whole decade of living life and like. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then it's like literally like double my height too. Huh. That's not hard. Yeah. <laughs> no, no shit. <laughs> Come on now. Nah. So, hey, at least you're planning ahead that. Any plans for your streaming career? Like, what about when you, like, have you thought about when you're married, family, kids? Do you think you'd still be doing stuff? Yeah. Gaming? 
Yeah, so probably the most one of the most thankful for like Tato is that she supports my BS. Yeah. Like she's she's always lurking in chat. She comes in chat once in a while when you know, obviously when she's not doing anything. Mm. Um I schedule in stream days with her as well. So we got a calendar that we run together on the weekends when yep. you know, when she's got her own stuff and I'm doing my stuff. Yeah, this um, is D time and, and this is D and Tato time. Yeah, like this is Mingas's time as well. Yeah. So, That's no, nah, yeah. you know, you know, you need that. I think, especially if you're in a relationship with someone, mm. just to keep it, so keep like, things healthy. Like, yeah, like like today, I had in my calendar, um, uh, e date with Mingas, <laughs> <laughs> and then um, yeah, like just like that stuff. So when given that, let's say if Tato still's working at the same place she's at till when we're married and stuff mm. like sunday mornings is still gonna be my stream day for about three hours yep because that's my downtime yep like i usually do everything i need to do before that or after that and then after i pick her up from work is me and her time we catch up we prepare for the week yep saturdays nice. is a bit of um is a gamble just because it's literally the whole day free for both of us like mm. like do i just spend the whole day gaming or just spend all day with her, one or the other. Sometimes we do, we, we, we plan ahead. It's like, all right, on, just for example, on my return stream, the 15th, I have yeah. actually, I was actually meant to stream on the 9th, which was my birthday. Mm. So comeback stream, birthday, you know, it'll be a big, it'll be big fun, but the controller never came till the, the day after. Yeah. So, okay, I'll push it by another week. And they had to organize a little staycation for me. For us, so all right, push back. So made it official. That's why the the video that I posted um, announcing the return, it only said soon. I didn't have a date. Yeah, till the I week before. That. Yeah, yeah. So, bit of flexibility there. The bit of flexibility. It was it was literally waiting for the controller. Yeah, I mean, it's goaded that you have a um a partner that is flexible yeah. and understanding. For everything, same for time. That, yeah, yeah, because yeah. like the way I kind of explained it to her, because um, I've had past relationships where, um, where gaming was sort of like frowned upon. It was like mm. a taboo topic for us to do. Like it's like it's a hobby. It's nothing. I'm like, it's I'm living my life through it or anything like that. Yeah. But they saw it as something as lame. Like they prefer to go out Friday nights, drink or whatever. I'm like, I don't drink though. Mm. Um. So I kind of brought that for with with tato and then we just had a, we had a discussion we, so me and tato talk talk about a lot of things yep like things that would help us improve our relationship improve us as, as human beings as people with each other or around us and one of the topics that we came up with was this whole gaming thing that i do like mm. playing it as a hobby playing call of duty playing whatever and i the, the only thing i said was would you rather me be going out to bars clubs whatever Mm. drinking coming home late coming home at 4 or 5 a.m in the morning or would you rather have me playing a video game frying my eyebrows so frying my eyebrows is a term that i've been using around within within my family and it pretty much means um, my face is glued to the screen the to screen, the point where it fries yeah. my fries my eyebrows yeah. <laughs> so it's just it's just a little fun a little little fun fact for you but yeah okay. so we had a, we had a talk about like would you rather have me go out, drink, do whatever, or would you rather have me or see me just play video games on a Friday and, night? And everything's re uh, recorded too. Yeah. So it's not like you, you're streaming and nothing's seen. It's all recorded. There's all yeah. lots. Yeah, and I'm very transparent anyway. I, I yeah. literally tell her everything. Like if I'm if I'm feeling weird that day, I'll tell her. If I'm feeling off, I'll tell her. If I feel like there's something that I'm uncomfortable doing, I'll tell her. And vice versa. Like, we're very open about everything. That's good. Um, Yeah. And plus, I, like like I mentioned at the beginning, I call things as it is. Yeah. If I think if she's done something that's, like, really bad, I'll call her out on it. And I expect her to do the same with me. Because, like, sometimes I get carried away doing things that I don't really think. I just do. <laughs> um, you sense. know, like... Oh, send. No, exactly. I was like, hey, there's four guys there. Don't push that door. Now I'm pushing that door. <laughs> Just buy me back when you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah. Like, I, I think at, at a future stage, I think she'll still be supportive with what we do. Like, if anything, she'll probably join in even more. I love that. Especially when we've got our own space in, in that sense where 
you know, there's less traffic around us or there's like less interference in, in one way or another. Mm-hmm. Having better equipment and stuff. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's definitely like streaming has definitely become a part of our day. I guess I wouldn't say daily routine, but it's become a, like part of our daily, daily lives in the sense of like whenever who's on like, like for example when you're on even though when you're on like she's asleep already while she's mm-hmm. going to bed like she's still like hey uh Mingus is on i'm gonna slide by and say hi uh, for a bit yeah or nice. we, like the odd random slim streams right mm. she's actually <laughs> messaged me once when trap went live for like after i don't know how long he was yeah i hate it like, he yep. goes babe 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 trap's on i'm like oh wait let me pause let me <laughs> let me pause work for a minute I'm saying hi. I love that. Yeah. Nah, that's good, so, 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 so slim. Like, with, um, yeah, the whole, the whole streaming thing, it's not, it's never been a big, uh, I guess, wedge for between me and her. It actually brought us been a lot closer because half the time, like, she'd be, she'd be in my bed. I'll be on my PC chatting and stream. She'd be doing the exact same thing. Mm. And I'm like, babe, I'm getting hungry. Let's go get food. I actually typed that in chat. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. It's, it's I love, uh, yeah I, I love seeing you guys having your conversations in stream too it's like oh hey yeah. babe it's like hey okay. <laughs> and, then, and then you starting like you blitz interfere it's like oh hey babe I'm yeah. like, yeah, and is, then D, I is to D actually... talking to Tato is D talking to me <laughs> yeah. nah I love her for it it's one of the most things like I, I'm thankful for that she's very understanding that what I do actually is it's not harmful in a sense it's mm. it's not it's not getting in the way of anything that we do in our daily lives and we've actually devised a um our own our own ways of wanting attention yep. like we we kept it simple essentially babe i want attention yeah and i mean I was, you can't get any better than that yeah i mean like as dumb as it sounds it actually works really well between me and her yeah so for example if i'm if i'm in a game with you for example like during the daytime or if i'm gaming or whatever if i'm especially if i'm by myself mm. right it's like if i'm three hours in just just say babe i want attention all right next game i've literally stopped what i'm doing i just go hang out with her for a bit yeah and vice versa like if she's off doing her own thing um and i feel like she needs a break from her studies i'm like babe let's Put that down for a bit take a break come hang out with me for a bit and then you can go back to what you're doing shout out tato yeah no shout, shout out for her like she's literally tato. my rock dude mm. that's what you know a cheater will take out to those nice places and shit yeah you give those subs to in the other in the homie stream yeah set her up. <laughs> this is actually <laughs> the, one of the funniest things that we've got is like every time she's on um i'd rather give her subs and like make her use her money and stuff yeah, like yeah. It's, it's whatever, right? Mm. But for me, it's like, I'd rather her save it and let me take care of all this st- other stuff for her. Mm-hmm. Um, she's actually really lived off. I wouldn't say lived off, but the amount of times I've gifted her subs in Zex, she has, she's actually lasted at least a year and a half. Wow. Just in gifted subs. Just because I time it right. Because I know, right, I, know yeah. um, I keep track of when she, uh, when her subs expired. Mm-hmm. And I'm still, I'm literally saving my, I've got 199 with Z. I'm literally saving that 200 either when she needs a sub, which I'll make a tier three, or I break my 200 kilo deadlift. Oof. It's one or the other. Wait, didn't the last, the last one got stolen though? Yeah, she May typed, stole it. May stole it. She's top to chat. <laughs> <laughs> jumped on that. Uh, it was either May or Lizard King that did it. I don't yeah. know if I remember but so, I think that definitely it was other mayors Lizzie King. Somebody was very trigger happy that day. I remember that you were saving yeah. that sub. Yep, it's good. No, it was on, yeah, it was on my staycation, mm. and actually I was like, hey, babe, babe, um, because she told me, oh my, sub to Z expired. I'm like, oh, okay, let me take care of that real quick. But <laughs> I didn't have my um Twitch. I don't have. I don't have. I don't like paying my subs through my phone. Just yeah. I feel like it's it's a bit weird, and Twitch takes a lot more money than they need to. Yeah um so i just tend to do it on on my laptop then half the time that's the reason why i can't give subs to a lot of homies because i'm on mobile half the time um and like yeah so it was literally just a timing thing between tato coming like her subs expiring or whatever and then to um somebody snatch it like snagging it from me like oh come on bro gotta be quicker than that (laughs) nah man yeah 
I gotta input my password a lot quicker. <laughs> Jeez. So I, I, we actually got it to the point where like, hey babe, type something in chat now. Okay, boom. Here I am. Sub. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Ha ha. No. Good plan there. I like that. Yeah. No, it's 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 love for the homie. It's love for her. Like it's. It may not seem much, like, it may just be a sub for somebody, but it's like, yeah, I did something nice. No, it is definitely a, um, yeah. a thoughtful thing. Yeah. Like, right at the moment, I'm, I am I literally told Z, hey, I'm like, I can't give subs right now, so I'm just going to give, I'm going to keep giving you biddies. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving that one. I'm, it's literally the one. Yeah. To break 200. It's going to be a, a momentous occasion. Yeah, but it's only one gifted, though. It's not, it's nah, not much, but... It doesn't matter. but but the story behind it mm -hmm. is it is, is what I guess what makes it grand. Exactly. Yeah. Well, D, I think we've covered a lot of a lot of stuff. Yeah. It was a, it was a pleasure, good. my friend. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, I talk so much shit, bro. Nah, you're fine. <laughs>